Hey there everyone, Ramesh here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple Angular application and how to deploy the same Angular application on AWS. Alright? Yeah, so as usual, we are going to follow the step-by-step -step process to deploy Angular application to AWS. So the prerequisites for this tutorial is that you need to install Node.js, NPM and Visual Studio Code ID uh, for creating Angular application and you need to create AWS free developer account uh, to log into the AWS console and uh, yeah so make sure that you have installed Node.js, NPM and Visual Studio Code ID on your machine to create Angular application and make sure that we have created AWS pre developer account to deploy Angular application on AWS okay yeah let's let's get started uh, let's take a look into the deployment uh, process or the development steps so first step is we create angular application all right once we create angular application next step is we build angular application for production and then once we build angular application for production then we log into aws console and then we create a bucket in s3 server and then we'll upload all the angular build files to s3 bucket so we build angular application for production in second step okay and this angular build files will upload to the s3 bucket and then we simply deploy these angular build files on s3 server it's pretty simple and uh, you know straightforward steps let's go ahead and let's create angular application and then we'll build angular application for production and then we'll log into aws management console and then we go to the s3 uh, service and we create bucket in s3 service and then we upload these angular production build files in s3 bucket and then we deploy this angular build files in s3 service pretty simple let's go ahead and let's create angular application So open Visual Studio Code ID in some folder in your file system. For example, I have opened Visual Studio Code ID in Angular folder here. Now what I'm going to use, we're going to use inbuilt terminal to create Angular application. So go ahead and click on terminal and then choose new terminal here. Alright, just type node-v to check the node.js version okay and after that just type npm hyphen v to check the version of npm all right and let's go ahead and let's use ng hyphen hyphen version command to just check angular cli version so these are the prerequisites uh, in order to create angular application so make sure that you create uh, you install node.js npm and angular cli in your machine okay all right here we have angular cli 10.2.7 so these are the versions uh, may different in your case okay now let's go ahead and let's use angular cli to create a new brand angular application all right just type the command ng new followed by name of the project let's say angular app aws all right and hit enter And this will ask you a question like would you like to add angular routing say no because we are going to create a very very simple angular application so say no and then let's use a default CSS style hit enter and angular CLI basically take few minutes to set up this angular application environment okay it will create angular application and it will you know download and install all the required uh, libraries in node underscore modules folder so let's wait couple of minutes to create angular application now we have created angular application successfully now let's navigate to the folder just type cd and followed by the name of the project that is angular app aws and hit enter now just type the command ng serve 
to deploy this Angular application on local development server, which will run on port port 2200. So look at here, Angular application is compiled successfully and deployed on a development server, which is listening a port port 2200. Let's go ahead and let's head over to the browser and just type localhost port 2200. Just type localhost port 2200 and hit enter. And there we go. Angular app AWS app is running. All right, we have successfully created Angular application and we have deployed in local development server, which is listening port port to double zero. Now we have completed step one. Okay. Second step is we need to build Angular application for production. Let's go ahead and let's build our Angular application uh, for production. Okay. So go back to the Visual Studio Code ID and here just press Ctrl C. So this will kill the process. Now let's go and let's enter the command ng build hyphen hyphen prod to build this Angular application for production. ng build hyphen hyphen prod. Okay hit enter so this command will take couple of seconds to build this angular application for production let's wait couple of seconds and there we go the build is successful and just go to the project and look at here this is a repress explorer just click on repress explorer and here you can see dist folder just exp expand this dist folder and within the dist folder you can see a bunch of files okay so we're gonna deploy these files in aws s3 service and this is the index.html file this index.html file contains a javascript file path here for example, look at here the production build. It contains different JS files, right? Main, polyfill, runtime, and style. So these JS and CS files are included in index.html file. For example, runtime. You know, dot uh, JS. So runtime. JS. And after that, uh, we have one more script that is polyfills. After that, we have main.js okay so these are the javascript files which are inc included uh, in index.html file now we have completed step two okay we have built angular apl application for production step three is we need to log into the aws management console so go to the browser and just type aws amazon.com slash console so we will navigate to the aws management console so before sign into the console make sure that you will create an account in AWS okay so just go ahead and uh, create a free tier account which is absolutely free for 12 months so you can go ahead and create free developer account for learning purposes okay so let me sign into the console I have already created an account in AWS so let's choose root user here and type the root user email ID and here we need to provide a security check and then password and hit sign in button and then you will be navigated to, to, to the uh, AWS management console and here you can see a bunch of Amazon services so we, we are really interested in S3 service okay so in S3 service we basically create a bucket and we store objects inside a bucket so let's go ahead and let's create a new a bucket in S3 service. So before that, let's take a look into the steps. So we successfully logged into AWS Management Console. Next step is we create a bucket in S3 server and then we'll upload Angular build files in S3, S3 bucket. Okay, great. 
so we have create button here go ahead and click on create bucket button and here we need to provide a bucket name bucket name should be unique okay uh, let me give bucket name something like this java guides angular okay deploy something like this and aws reason so let's keep uh, us as a default and then just untick this block all public access because we are going to provide access to this bucket and then just keep everything default and hit create button and just tick mark this one because we are going to provide a public access to the bucket so we need to tick mark here and click on create bucket so this will create a new bucket in s3 service now we can go ahead and you know upload the files in this bucket all right so just go ahead and click on upload here okay and here you can see add files click on add files and go to the folder where you were uh, you know angular production build was generated so we have angular app aws uh, project right so inside that we have a dist folder followed by angular app aws inside this folder we have these files so select all these files and click on open okay and keep everything default and say upload here and this will take a couple of seconds to upload the files so look at here succeeded 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 and succeeded here we go all files are successfully uploaded just close it okay so what we have done we have created a bucket inside s3 service and we have uploaded all the files in this bucket the next step is we need to you know deploy this application okay in order to deploy uh, this application in s3 server in this particular bucket so go to the properties of this particular s3 bucket okay go to the properties and scroll down scroll down and go to the bottom here you can see static website hosting so by default it is disabled go ahead and click on edit here and click on enable and then scroll down here and look at here index document so we have index right index.html which is the single html page we need to deploy so just type index.html here and uh, yeah perfect so keep everything default and click on save changes okay and scroll down here and look at here this is the url generated so if you click on this link it will it will give you a error here that is 403 forbidden error so we need to basically make all the object inside this bucket as a public so go to the objects and select all the objects and go to the actions and make public okay click on make public so this will make all the objects in this you know bucket as a public access now let's go ahead and let's refresh the url here and here we go angular app aws app is successfully running on aws okay pretty simple guys but make sure that you will provide you know permission for these objects otherwise you will get 403 forbidden error all right we have successfully you know created angular application and deployed on aws step by step so let me quickly recap the steps we have created a new angular application and then we have built angular application for production and then we log into AWS Management Console and we have created bucket in S3 and we have uploaded all the Angular build files in S3 bucket and we have deployed this Angular build, uh, you know, in a S3 bucket. It's pretty simple. I hope you understood how to deploy a simple Angular application on AWS S3 server. So uh, if your Angular application is big, then you can also, uh, you could also follow the same steps. Okay. Alright, thanks for watching this video.
subscribe to my youtube channel so that whenever i will publish such kind of videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in next video